Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple released iOS rapid security response 16.5.1 C. Now the other day, Apple released a previous version, iOS rapid security response 16.5.1 a, and soon after those that installed the same update on the Mac and their iPhone started to experience issues accessing certain websites such as Facebook. Apple actually pulled the update and then later issued a statement. And you can see that here where it says Apple is aware of an issue where rapid security responses might prevent some websites from displaying properly. Now you can actually uninstall this as many people did. And then they re-released this the other day or yesterday with rapid security response 16.5.1 C. Now you won't see this if you're on iOS 16.6 betas or iOS 17 beta one for the public beta or beta three re-release for the developer beta. You won't have it as you're on the current version and 16.5.1 would be an older version. Now, as you can see, this is a fairly small update, 2.8 megabytes. And many people were asking me if you install this, do you first have to uninstall 16.5.1 a, and the answer is no. If we go over to software updates, you'll see that this shows up as 16.5.1 C tap on download and install, put in your passcode and we'll let it install over here. It will install, it will take away the old version or just overwrite it with the new version. The nice thing is Apple lets you remove these security response updates. If they're causing problems, you can do that by going to your settings, going to general, then about, and you'll see at the top where we have the current version 16.5.1 C. If we tap on that, you can see here that we have a 16.5.1 C with the build number of two zero F seven, seven, zero, seven, five, zero D. If we want to remove it, we tap on remove, hit remove, reboot the phone, and then you could reinstall it later if you want to. As far as what's included in this update, if we go into Safari, scroll down, you'll see on their security website, they still list the original version a, but also the new version C, which is also out for Mac OS Ventura 13.4.1. If we go into this and scroll down, it shows us the first vulnerability that they actually patched where it says processing web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited to fix it. The issue was addressed with improved checks and it was submitted by an anonymous researcher. Also, they've added this note below where it says rapid security responses, iOS 16.5.1 C and iPad OS 16.5.1 C include the security content of rapid security response, iOS 16.5.1 a and iPad OS 16.5.1 a and fix an issue that prevents some websites from displaying properly. So they've patched the initial bug and this one is just the updated version that fixes that initial issue. What that actual bug was, they haven't said, they just said that they actually fixed it. Now, as we're waiting for it to install on the iPad, let's talk about performance as some people are concerned that this could slow down your phone. That's not true. This is just a security update. There's no issue as far as that goes. And you'll see here, we're ready to restart on the iPad. So we'll restart and it will restart the iPad and install this security response. Now performance should not be affected. However, if it is, you can just uninstall this update, which is really nice. I'd love to see Apple add that for everything. The same is true for battery. If you're concerned about it after using it for a couple days and you think it's impacted the battery, you can see that in your settings and then actually go back to battery under battery. Just look at the past couple of days, see what the difference is as far as battery. And that will give you an idea if it's impacted it, if you've been using it the same way, it shouldn't impact it whatsoever, but if it does, you can always uninstall. It. However, it's fairly important to use as it has an important security patch. You'll see it's already installed on the iPad. So let's just go ahead and unlock it. And under about, we have the new security response. We didn't have to uninstall the first one to install the new one. Now, why there's no B version of the security response. We don't really know they skipped B. You would think they would go right from a to B or patch it, or just re-release the first version, but they didn't also, they released iOS 17 public beta the other day. And if you're a public beta tester or you want to be, I have a separate video on that. I also have a video on how to download grade from iOS 17 to 16. If you've tried it out and you decided it's not for you until it's finally released to the public. So be sure to check out both those videos. They'll be linked in the description. And also Apple released a new AirPods beta firmware to go along with iOS 17. So the beta firmware adds new features, but they're updating these as well. So it brings it to version six, a five, two, six, two D and they update the same way if you're a beta tester. So just keep that in mind. 
Hopefully they'll update on their own and you'll just be good to go. Mine have not updated yet and it's been a day or so. So hopefully we'll see that very soon. If we go into settings and we go up to our AirPods Pro, scroll to the bottom, it actually updated now. So last time I checked, it had not updated. You can see the latest version here at the bottom of, and it's jumping around for some reason, probably because this is not on iOS 17 and it's confused, but there's the latest version, 6A262D. So we have the new version installed and that one is good to go. It should be some bug fixes for that beta update. If I find anything else, I'll make a separate video or let me know if you want me to make a separate video on that AirPods firmware update if there's anything else in it. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, it's linked in the description as it always is. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.